Hello there and welcome back to Cory Luces, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge 3.2 former preview playthrough as the Hapes Consortium. We are going to clear out these invasions on Qtrick, but after cleaning up a lot of the Northern Imperial forces from both the, the Empire itself and the Penistar alignment, we are almost ready to move into the next phases, which will primarily be going after... Uh, the New Republic in Hut space as well as in Mon Cal space. So I'm not sure if we are actually being attacked right now or if that already went through. Uh, so I'm going to leave these here for a second maybe. Or you know what? I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to send them into Mon Calamari. Leia has won the New Republic elections. Congratulations to her. Did we force them out? We did. Uh, do we have spies on this planet? We don't. Well, let's uh, let's go clear that out for the final time, and then we can start moving at least Lovett's fleet down south, because we won't need all these northern fleets right now. We will probably want to plan for an attack on Bill Bringy soon. Choose your reinforcements. So we've got. Rise, USS Solus, Bahamut, Imagine Dragon, you go to Rune, and Sandwich of Death. Oh shit. Let's get power to weapons on there. Dragon Wagon. Uh, where's the Mist? Mist Carrier. I think they should all be fine. Fate of Monkel in Lebanon. These should be the last of the threatening Imperial fleets up north. Starta, you can come in too. Because once the Once Hast and Mon Cal are done, if we can get just into the main hut planets, like we'll have two fleets over there. We'll have Hesha Lovett's fleet heading towards the core alongside the one that's been sitting at Ord Mantell. And I think his soldier's still on. Was that Contrum? No, that wasn't Contrum. Whichever planet the soldier's been sitting on, we'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna move you down. Ooh, they did empty out Mon Cal. Does that mean they are coming to Liana? But this will make it easier. I don't even know if they'll have their shipyard here right now. It's only the level 2 station, so they might have done that before upgrading the station or getting the shipyard. But no, they, they I think they have it. They have it. Yeah. Alright, so we have Cory Hodge release dates. Merida. Temparis. New beta mindset, pocket munificent, Moana, Mr. Gray, Shiru Mod, pick up and toothless. Should be able to just hit all that from range. Ginsburg, Rancor Queen, Holy Diver, Chunin's Pleasure Yacht. Which era can the New Republic build the Viscount prototype? Uh, that becomes first available, I think, in Era 4. Ready for orders. Choose your reinforcements. I think we need our other tender off on the right side. Get our Consortium. Redeemer. Mulan. Insali. Ori wins. Nabrik. Soldier's Love Check. Regular bottom Corvette. Forgotten. Killed by Raid Fleet. No more Raid Fleets, though. Bedlam. And Jean d'Arc. What are they going to have? Reserves. Nothing bigger than a CR-90, so it's all just the Corvettes and reserves.
I don't want anything to move up too much. But I think we've mostly got this. You go on that. And these bombers, I think I'm going to send the bombers on to Liberty. We'll try to use our Mytil fighters to take out a lot of the A-Wings. Uh, I don't think Bathory was in here now. I'll check after the stream if we don't see it. See if it's had an issue or something. It's not impossible that something was messed up in the coding somewhere if it hasn't shown up yet. We should have been through all or most. Alright, that's all the the big happy fish tanks mostly gone. All of them mostly gone. Okay, we we need the powder weapons on some stuff, I think. I don't think we're losing out on anything right now. Oh, they actually... Do you have a second Liberty there? It's lying to me. Oh, no, it was, uh, it was two total. They just hadn't gone through all of its starting ones yet. Because this one isn't even dead yet. It's just taking a while to get through the initial spawns. These bombers are not in the best position. Okay, I'm gonna try to move that tender up a little bit more. These guys can come up a little bit more. And... We should all kill on that. It's actually a lot of Y-Wings over here. We need to stop. Okay, they're, they're mostly... They're mostly dead now. They're getting focused. Engines, you are fine. A lot of the betas want to just go on that now. And there's three hard points left on the shipyard. Okay, that should be the last of the shipyard hard points right there. There were four left. And... I'm going to try to keep the Battle Dragons on the Liberty. But we do need to take care of these other little nephews that are floating around. Alright. On to here. Just a couple more of the Corvettes. I'm gonna try to move the anti-light stuff up a bit. Do we have any more in reserve? No. The betas aren't gonna be doing much at this point in the battle. It's all dead. Okay. 
Oh, come on, come on, you're, you're the last Mon Calamari ship. There you go. Thank you for exploding. Very appreciated. Okay, there might be a fleet on the way down to Liana. Thank you, Commander Kiva, for the 100 bits, saying thank you for the awesome mods having so much playing Woke. So much fun playing Woke. Well, glad you're enjoying them. Appreciate it. This is a kind of scary fight. No, it's actually not that scary. Never mind. I, I overstated the scariness. Past is going to be a scarier fight for, for space, at least. Oh, I don't know if we're going to go immediately to Hast. Right away. Let's get some water dragons on that. Let's get uh, Galnies. Right away. And I think we're going to still want Galnies for this. There's a lot of... There's a lot of... Uh, Moving. There's a lot of infantry to deal with. And I think we need a fire dragon. Ready, I go. We're right behind you. Heading out. Awaiting your command. Okay, we can get Away. some vision, we can get some land. Ready for action. Let's get anti infantry on this. I'm gonna get Ready. a repair platform on that one, I think. I don't know why I got the anti-infantry so far back here. Not that it'll matter too much. There they are. Oh shit, artillery. Um, Solanus, anti-infantry, anti-vehicle. I'm gonna stick with mostly those. All right. Everyone get up here. Or, you know what? Can you just, uh, go over and try to take out some of the structures for us? And I'll even do that with, uh, with the second infantry company, too. Okay, these are anti-vehicle. So, it should be able to kill some MPTLs. Or the MPTL. I can find them. Out. Out. Oh, we found, uh... I'm gonna try to kill the ones that are getting through there first. Right, there's the MPTL. You guys come back through, try to kill that one. Okay, we're gonna try to flank us on the water. My job. I need these water dragons out there as well. They won't help against the vehicles on the water, but they're... That's at least, uh... Kind of pushing them off. Go into the base more. Reporting. Right away. We need to pull back until the T1Bs are off. Oh, we just... Yeah, the T1Bs are mostly going to try to come out there. I think we only need one or two more. Okay, now get out. Are you going to be adding any water-based units like the Wave Skimmers that to niche? Uh, it wouldn't really be feasible to have 
water only yes, units in, in Pirate War. Like, you can technically make a pathing style that's only able to go on water, but then you'd also need to do, like, water only landing zones, which obviously don't work for a reason. Like, capturing that with the units would be a problem, and then you'd have to build a lot more maps around having a lot more water. Otherwise, they'd be useless in most places. Even if you made them a capturable thing, the infantry would have to capture them and it'd have to like spawn them onto the water. Like it's just, it's just not not really a thing that at this point is super worth doing. No, not on that one. There you go. there more. I don't know what we're going to run into with the base, or before the base. At least I think you can add new pathing types like that. I think that's just an enum thing. Usually for anything we want to do like that, it ends up... It's like They're mostly repulsor units in the first place. So they just end up, if we really wanted them, getting treated as uh, stuff that can go on the same thing that any other cover unit can. Where's the next structure that we really want? So here. Bam. I'm gonna try to get back a little bit more because this is, is kind of dangerous. These guys can all get forward though. We haven't really put any cross map pressure on. I'm not not applying my league skills here. Like worst case scenario, we can uh, pull back to the water right now. We've got all the structures. So it's just whatever we come across unit wise now that's going to be left. We've also killed all the field bases they would have had. And I don't think we've lost enough to lose any of the companies either. Uh, is there anything out here? Nope. We can just go straight into the base area. Okay, no one needs to take cover anymore. They are leaving. Very cool. Oh, there's, there's still a structure here. That's To let Rendilly on Moncow. Silly fools. That is big if true. He took Mon Calamari, that's that's a big deal. Okay, that's actually gonna be easy in on ground. And I think we can actually handle that in space too. Uh you are not you are not a space unit. I hate to tell you that. Well, you you could be. You have you have a shuttle. Well, the galaxy has mostly been divided into uh, purple and orange. There is a lot of green in the core, but I think the New Republic has been making some pushes in there as well. Which we do wanna we do wanna take the core for ourselves. It, it also depends on how well the Ariato Authority does in holding those four planets, because I think they've even started losing some stuff to the Empire, and the New Republic only really needs to take 
one or two more planets. Yeah, if they lose one more planet, I think Delvardis is already dead. No, no, Delvardis I think came back. Delvardis was the one that I I forgot to delete for them. Like the major hero that's that was dead before that I didn't delete on remaking the campaign. But from here, we can just jump into into Honiger and Castle. And the other one. The enemy is approaching. Choose your reinforcements. Okay. Corey Hyde's release dates. Better consortium. New beta crime set. Temparis. Pocket, Esmeralda, Commander in there, Merida. Okay, this will be a lot of fighters coming at us, so we do want all of the Bynums in sooner. Battle Dragons. And I want all of you in the station. We'll have a lot of fighters as well, because we're Havens. We're always going to have all the fighters. There's going to be some interaction between the New Republic and Havens, like between the Chisholm and the Hand, or are they enemies forever? Uh, Galactic M or Galactic Alliance stuff will be able to make the yes, Havens New Republic yeah, not enemies, but like it, it won't be. We don't even know exactly how the Chisholm Empire of the Hand stuff is going to work. There will be situations where the Chisholm Empire of the Hand can fight. Like, it's not... Having strict alliances in Empire at War often does not work, and the game does not support it very well. Like, I'm not sure what the limits are going to be on how well we'll be able to support any kind of alliances between anyone. Because, like, it's a... For one thing, node-based game where travel is entirely limited, but the functions that the game has to allow alliances have a lot of very game-breaking bugs that you need to be able to script some way around, or else people will fuck up their game all the time. So there's not necessarily a guarantee we'll be able to do anything there. Because, like, if, uh, if players end up putting stuff on Allied Worlds, that basically ruins the game. Like, the, the game doesn't know how to handle battles with that. So we basically need ways to remove those units when they're there and make sure that the game isn't just going to shit itself. Like, we've shown off the whole vassal thing before, which would be one way the Havens and the Republic would be able to work together. But, like, it's not Stellaris. It's not a game that really works very well with alliances. Like, the CIS way we do it, with uh, using corruption, is even still kind of janky, but probably the best implementation that we can do unless we're able to make a script that can handle the other stuff I was just talking about without being too expensive. Like, always checking whether every planet has too many factions worth of forces on it is not going to be good. Gotta get very laggy. And, like, that only works because the CIS and those factions are all always going to be aligned. And even then, there's been several releases worth of tuning to make sure that the the sub-factions as the CIS aren't just going to win the game for you. And it also presupposes, like, none of those are ever going to be playable for some reasons that don't really apply as much in the implementation of TR if you try to use it for something. But it does also mean you can only have one relationship like that. Like... We can't, even if we wanted to use that the way we have the CIS currently set up for that, uh, you wouldn't be able to use that for multiple groupings of factions. So the same way that we aren't able to use it for uh, like the Republic sector forces either. Because it uses the corruption system, and as far as Empire at War is concerned, a planet is either corrupted or it's not. So you can't say, like, 
oh, this is this is New Republic ally corruption, and this is the Chist and Empire of the Hand allied corruption. It's either corrupted, the, plan the planner is either corrupted or not, and the faction either benefits from corruption or it's not. You can't say, like, oh, it can go through this kind of corruption, but not this kind of corruption. So, even if we did do that, it would be able to handle, like, the Empire of the Hand and Chist if we want them to always be aligned. But you can't use it for any kind of alliance that might ship, because, like, there, there does have to be a way for the New Republic and the Empire to to fight each other, even if later on they end up allied with the New Republic and the Hapens. And it's not like the the way the Hapens and New Republic function, they would, like, inherently always end up at peace. Like, that's how it happened in Universe, but it was never a guarantee that the Hapens and New Republic were going to be friends. It just was a thing that made sense for them at the time. I need to turn back on... Oh, music's there. Never mind. Like, if you look at the news and updates playlist on the YouTube channel, there was a video I did on, like, being able to vassalize certain factions of the New Republic. And ideally, that'll still be a thing that we're able to do if we are able to handle the the issues that I was talking about. But again, it's not it's not a given that we will be able to change those. Because like otherwise, alliances between them are mostly just going to be uh, story events where like stuff happens with the GFFA coming from the New Republic and you'll be able to build stuff related to those factions and the implication will be that like they're allied by that faction being part of your faction entirely which there will be some element of that regardless of what we do because like that's an important part of the GA later on it's also an important part of the Corellian Confederacy later on where like the Corellians had a bunch of other New Republic member states as well. Like, there were also times where the Imperial Warlords weren't all part of the same faction but were working together, but that's a thing that we can't really represent either. I don't think we'd ever bother with that, even if we have working scripts to check alliances and make sure that people aren't sitting on planets that they shouldn't be sitting on. Because ultimately we have to, like, go with what works best for the game, and, like, the fact that there are all these different factions that can be fighting, you can have, like, any combination of factions in the end game, theoretically, uh, is one of the cooler parts of it, like the Total War elements. Ryloth was technically independent for, for a while. And Rogue goes in and changes their little minds. A lot of the stuff that has its roots in like the 90s or earlier source books do end up looking a bit weird. Like the Kraken Threat dossier had a lot of strange stuff. But. That's where Haven designs end up coming from, so... Ex well, the the explicitly drawn designs. The descriptions are... Still the descriptions, and those were around before, but still. A lot of the expanded universe stuff at the time was... Pulling from a variety of different sci-fi styles. Uh, did I save recently enough? I didn't actually save at all. I think that's a Hapen file. Rep 11 is definitely a Hapen file. Right? No. No, it's not. It is? It might be. I don't know. I have to look. I don't think the the hut sail barge style is particularly un-Star Wars-y. 
Like, it fits with what we see with the actual sail barge thing in the movies, which is still a very Star Wars design style. And then the like the Dooku's solar sail thing. Like, there's a there's a few places where we see solar sail stuff, including some movie stuff. Well, I always put the the faction name in the save name. It's just that time I wrote the wrong one. Because I was just going on autopilot from the last save. Like, I, I'm pretty sure it's not the, the Republic in TR that I'm doing there. I don't think that would have changed the, the calculus there. Speaking of autopilot, let's send in some speeders. Some other speeders. I'm here. So what's gonna happen is on Friday, I'm gonna go to to load the the Republic playthrough, and I'm gonna go for the latest Republic file, and it's gonna crash. And I'm gonna panic for about three seconds, and then I'm gonna remember, or Chad is gonna remind me. That it is not. It is not a Republic file. We'll let the Solana speeders run wild there. Oh, there's going to be a lot coming up. I think we need to be back here. I think if I tell them to attack the barracks, they're going to be more... Oh, never mind. There, there. Take cover. Get in there. Don't protect it with your AA stuff. Don't send sensible things to do sensible things like Bob tells you to do. Bob's not here, he doesn't have to know. Alright, uh, stay around on that. And you're too far up. You're gonna get shredded by the... by the stuff that's there as well. Alright. Come on in there. See if they abandoned their post. Okay, yeah. If I tell you to attack the barracks, when you're doing your other passes, you should take pot shots at the other two structures. Send some out that way. I think this does need a little bit of need a little bit of flattening. That's just a T two B. It's not a T one. There's a T one. All right, get her there. Hiding in the barracks. We've at least got the main landing zone here. I don't know if, uh, if we're ever going to get to the point where I'm doing a. A Republic playthrough in all three fat or all three mods. Maybe that'd be a fun thing to do on on purpose. But I have thought about doing like a for some of the historical campaigns, playing the same historical campaign in especially Fall of the Republic, but from both factions at the same time, and try to post episodes on the same day and as long as that remains possible until. One ends up like being finished before the other. Because presumably, it would end up that way. Like the do the Thrawn campaign or something, or like Fall the Republic's the easiest one to do it in. The Thrawn campaign would work as well.
need to get over there. What do they have in other places? Is there another field base around here? Gotta be infantry. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. I do wish there was a bit more open pathing between some of the areas on this map. Like, overall, I like it, but it's just... It ends up being that this side doesn't get used much at all until the end. And it's just so hard to get between them. Like, it's so cut off. But, like, if we want to get our vehicles over there... We have to go all the way back to the start. And even getting the infantry, you have to go most of the way back to the start. It's just too segmented. Reporting. Order acknowledged. Like if this... If there was a vehicle way to get through the two bases, and then uh, like there was a bit more open infantry pathing in the middle, that could work. Get up there. I'm not gonna get another review. They're gonna start going up that path. And we'll fill out more with that. Revenant Revenge of the Centurion or Public Sith or both. It is a Sith ship, and there will be. Like, individual hero flagships or something with it for the Republic. Or, like, starting forces or reward spawns in certain West Conquests. Particularly the Mandalorian Wars one. Roger that. Form up. Especially when there's so few units. It's more important to avoid the overlap and make sure we're reinforcing faction play styles. Like, even though, yeah, technically the uh, Centurion and the Sith Interdecker were made by the Republic, we don't plan to have them be, like, typically Republicly usable stuff, other than, like, maybe historical thing. Alright, Meridian. We actually don't need to worry too much about... Uh, Constructing. Too much about credits right now. We'll go to Kessel with these guys. Well, this fleet goes to Slahiron. We don't have the best Pathfinder for this. We don't have the best Anti-Fighter for any of this. No, so that is still Hoidaria open. Well, it, it should be able to defend itself. So the Heron is pretty built there. Another purple planet. A lot of purple planets in this area. We got Umbara and we got uh, the Sucha. A lot of these are done through map lighting coloration right now. I would like to... Like the Umbara one, I think, in particular. I do want to... Do some more planet models once we have the the basics of how we want to set them up finished. I'm not sure if we'll significantly change the way we handle the low orbit planets, but it might just come out better from sky domes. We should be able to get through the Hut territory pretty quickly. The New Republic Hut territory. Lombar does use Flint? Okay. But like, the, the lighting on space maps is something I do really want to work on. A big part of it is just, like, the, the Sky Domes are so old, too. Ready. Fire at will. The enemy has got 
Really, making stuff look more cinematic usually means, like, dropping the lighting to a point where you can't really see what's going on with a lot of them, so we always prioritize the playability over the, vis the visuals. So, there are a few places where, like, uh, on ground in particular, where I think it's a few night maps have still snuck through where they're too hard to see on. So clearing up all those is one of the priorities with ground maps. Most of them are most of them have been caught and removed. Still one or two were not the most visible. That's just a couple of the happy little Nebulon bees left. I don't think the New Republic has even connected their uh, their main southern territory to Hut Space right now. They've still got Glomtho separating them, I think. Yeah, Glomtho there and Jindine there. We did want to build up a fleet for a soldier. So let's get him Steiner's Last Stand, Cormorant, Andromeda Queen. Not you, you're a regular one. Egg and Stray, these are all regular ones. Nor. Big car named Desire. Whiz Cruiser. Does Contra not have a shipyard right now? I must not have put one back. Or I might have left one of the old ones. That's probably it. Beatrice is cute. Jasmine. Elf ear thing. And you don't have a shipyard, so you're going to have a shipyard now. Lord Mantell, you are going to get a Maluri shipyard and to keep update or upgrading. A lot of these planets we are going to be leaving in a technically less defended area. So we're just going to have Thane continue upgrading a lot of them. Make sure that no PA counterattacks come from here. Alright, Kessel. Let's see. Look, sir, it's them. Choose your reinforcement. I think the original plan was to go more through the core last. But it seemed like we're gonna take HUD space and then we're gonna have to turn our attention to the core. So we'll be the last ones with the new republic. I think Isard is still somewhere in the core as well, though. That's a lot of fighters in there. Okay, you power to shields. Took a lot of heat on that. So did the Ronal. So we've killed most of the most of the Liberty, and the Dauntless is actually quite healthy. Now I think I actually do need to... Yeah. There. Come back, music. Reporting in. Attacking the laser. Okay. Uh, the MC-40s that have been hiding in our forces. Not really hiding, I just kind of jumped on them. I've got it lined up. They're nearly dead now. Yeah, then we need to get up to the, the shipyard. Maybe 
Maybe, yeah, with that first run, I'm just going to send the the bomber straight into the, to the shipyard, because that's a lot of anti-fighter that's going to be hanging around here, too. You want to avoid that with the bombers. They should be safe to get through in one run here. And we'll just need to make sure that our fighters, at least some of them, make it through to, to cover. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so it's mostly... Oh, that's all. Yeah, that, that was a good run. So just some Corvettes that are left now. They're not going to want to retreat because, of course, we do have our, our interdictor coronals. One of the things that may happen with some of the Haven ships like that is, like, some varianting off of, of them for different capabilities, so you don't always have to have the, the interdiction versions of stuff. Like, technically, the interdiction mines were a thing that Battle Dragons carried as well. But, like, we decided pretty early on against giving them that, because then, like, any fight against the Havens, you could. They're gonna have four to five interdictors as their main ships to, like. So, if you ever think you're gonna want to retreat, you'd have to kill their main fighting force in the first place, which means just retreating against the Havens would be absolutely impossible. Right now, they do tend to use interdictors more than other factions because of the. Uh, because that's their tender and they really want to use the tenders. But it's still easier to kill the one or two tenders that they're going to have versus the 600 uh, battle dragons that they'll have. Building under construction. That'll be a good place for a trade port. As it is also a trade hub. Oh no. Over Lenad. I guess I just completely forgot to move them to, uh, Construction to Karita. Luckily, that was what was. Alright, you are going to upgrade to that. The miner, you're going to upgrade. You don't have a shipyard either. Uh, you can have a shipyard. We will want an Apelian on the on those ones too. Oh, actually. Get over to Qtric. That's gonna be the more important one then. Qtric and Axilla need from level one up. Nebulon B frigate here. Nebulon B frigate here. This fleet, we're gonna be able to go to Jindeen. Not yet, but we will be able to. Construction complete. And let's invade there. Thank you, Carter, for subscribing for nine months. Very appreciated. Congratulations on completing your gestation. 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 Moving. Yes. If. Gestation. What is it, Commander? As the 123rd subscriber right now, uh, you just won the Hanging Out in Real Life prize next time we're in the same city. It is mandatory. It's not optional. Sick, even more money! 
I like how we just, it just blows up after you get it. Like, oh, we, we got the initial money out of it. We're done. Don't need more money. Commander, what is my next? You mean implying I ever leave the house, Ram? I. How do you think the chicken wings get here? They don't order themselves. Do you have a plan? I'm here. I mean, I don't really leave the house much in COVID. That's true. I went to the movies once. I'm probably going to the movies again. Oh, they're all dead. They just all died. Where's the next target? I will. Course plotted. Thank you, Arios, for subscribing as well. Sometimes wings do get sent to me. Not always, though. I tend to not order them, because, like, you can buy them for cheaper. So, like, I used to see them in the grocery store, then you'd be like, oh, well, they're, uh, that's too expensive. I'm not going to pay that for, for the chicken wings. And then what would happen after that is I'd pay even more money to have them delivered pre-cooked. Like, okay, why didn't I just, why didn't I just buy them in the first place? It would have been, it would have been better. We really need to, Coordinates received. Right to get Let's go. artillery. We've been neglecting our artillery. Yes, Weren't you looking at moving out west? Uh, I'll, I'll message you out the street. Just remember, put your put your full address in chat, Parker. And... See if anyone sends you death threats or anthrax. Okay, let's go. Let's go in the cave. It's fake. Never mind. I really would love a sensor node. Okay, those can come up here. Will these kill us? Yes. Run away. Okay, two of them are going to be safe. One is not. The good survival rate for them so far, though. They've had many opportunities to die and have it, so... Okay, no, you take cover, the rest of you don't. I always just, like, leave them on that, which... Good for survival, but bad for... mobility. These guys, I act, I'm very surprised those ones. Okay, now you can take cover. Should be able to get up to that landing zone. Did we not kill the full thing? That sucks. I want to, I want to refund. Okay, let's get up there. And do we have more water dragons somewhere? We do. Actually, I think that was the barracks that we killed. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about infantry as much. This has to be close to dead. Once we get up into the base, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be a threat to any of our massive units. That, oh, that, that half survived. I guess the AA turret must have killed them before they got the full bomb off. structure left. There wasn't a field base over there that I know of. Where's the 
Okay, just sit on the victory point just in case uh, we end up having to do some hunting. No hunting. They're gone. That's another mining facility for us, so... We're gonna be just rolling in credits. We're making almost 20k per week already. Uh, what era are we in? In era 2. Alright, let's, uh, let's invade Desucha. Hello, Watchers? That's gonna be really weird for anyone on YouTube. <laughs> 55 minutes into the episode, just randomly saying hi to the Watchers. Okay, this is this is a lot more air power and artillery than uh, than the other one had. So that's good. So I don't think they're actually going to be that built up here. Okay, that's even better. Get uh get into the get into the chairlift. Earlift chairlift. What is my next objective? Construction complete. You up on to that. Oh, I need to actually click properly. Send the rest of you down there. And you can go up the hill. Death Canyon underway. More infantry on that. And get down there. What is your order? I think we'll want a little bit of the artillery, so we don't want all of it, and we'll have Levet as well. Uh oh. Um they're pulling back. I don't think the infantry just standing there shooting at the anti-infantry turret is the best decision we could make. Alright, put artillery over there. We can go off to the edge on that. I think it's a bit farther up, so a bit more useful than that ledge. And these two... I'm just gonna send them to the... Oh shit, I'm gonna send them... Yeah, I am gonna send them to the board. I think they can hit that structure from there. There is a lot of T's, T's 1B going on. Go straight in, and I think we can hit them from here in support. Well, they're all dead. Okay, may as well get that in position there then. No, oh, you're. You're not a melee unit. You're not a melee unit. Providing backup. Reporting. Okay, I think we can stop on that. Alright. Uh you hit there. But I don't know if we'll be able to bomb in the middle of that canyon the other way. Pretty confident we can hit it with those. Roger that. Go up there and drop. Ready. On my way. We've got your back. Awaiting your command. What is my next objective? Okay, that should clear us out to the main base. So everyone just go go and attack that. We'll have a normal bombardment in a second.
I'm not sure what's actually shooting us here. It doesn't matter. Nothing. Whatever it was, I'll die. We did lose more Galni Guard. Where did we have a Galni house? Okay, we're up here? Yeah. I want more Galnies. More of the Galni gals. Then we can go into there. I'm going to combine these for now. We'll probably split them up again later. Because, like, there's a few unit types that we only have in, uh, in that second army with Levet. And if we're all... If they're going to be all together down here for this part of the offensive, then it just makes more sense to combine them. Two CR90s left. Oh, you can't leave. You literally can't leave, but like I, I don't want you to think you can leave either. Don't think you're you're that special. Retreat aborted. Okay, I think that is going to do it for now. Though we have, we made quite a bit of progress there. We made it all the way from Hass down to. Uh, down to Kesslin to Sucha. So we'll probably be able to finish off the rest of Hut and Bothan's face in the next one, which I'm probably, I am probably going to record one offline. Uh, so I'll, it probably won't be a super long one because it won't be streamed. So I'll, I'll try to make sure that people can be there for most of it. But just to get the streaming schedule back in sync. Next Monday, we'll have the next Hapen stream, which will probably be, at that point, if we take the rest of the Boffin space in the offline episode, then we'll probably be working on the core. So it's probably two more weeks of streams and then the final live episode. So we'll see what that ends up ultimately working out as. Tomorrow night at 7 Eastern, we are going to be doing some GeoGuessr here. I think Dana is going to be on that stream as well. Because uh, she likes GeoGuessr, and then maybe there will be some tier lists on that. I am going to order some Legos for that stream, so it's possible that stream will be next week, the Lego build stream, or at least the first of them, uh, depending on how fast shipping happens. I think it's pretty fast. I ordered my nephew something, and it got there like pretty quickly. But either way, more of that later. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream, and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.